Okay. Well, welcome back to another episode from Tailors with Love. Uh, this is not going to be a glitzy, glamour, fancy edit show, I'm afraid. Um, we're going to discuss the sad passing of our friend Christopher Lafty. I'm, I'm joined by editor of Bond Suits, Matt Spacer. How are we doing today, Matt? Hey, Pete. I'm doing all right. How about you? Yeah, very good. Very good, mate. So um, people that have been listening to the show for a while might have known Chris through the show. He, he came on and discussed the likes of Tom Ford. He's been on the show to discuss Inception. Um, we had him on to join us with Betsy Hyman, um, costume designer of Green Book and, and many other films. But uh, more than likely that you'll, you would have known Christopher through his blog, Clothes on Film, or even the book that he wrote, Fashion in Film. Uh, Matt, you've known or you had known Chris for a long time. Maybe you can just talk a little bit about how you guys met and your feelings about this. Yeah, so from what I recall, he reached out to me back in 2010, shortly after I had started my blog. Um, you know, I had known his website and it was, it was you know, an inspiration for me. And uh, you know, so, but he, I'm fairly sure he reached out to me first to introduce himself and he, um, he offered me the opportunity to write a blog about the uh, close of Dr. No for his website. Uh-huh. So I was very excited for that because you know, I, I loved his site. Um, and I, I just to be able to be able to be a part of it you know, meant a lot to me. And just the opportunity you know, that it was, I was able to reach a lot more people through him. And, you know, he obviously knew that he wanted to uh, help me out and, introduce people to my website, my work, and I'm just so grateful to him for that. Um, I, th- I think people liked that article because he, not much later, he asked me to write an article about the close of Honor Matches Seat Secret Service. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm just I'm grateful for the opportunities. You know, he obviously believed in me and that meant a lot to me. Yeah. He was yeah. just so, so kind, uh, always wanted to help out people wherever he could. And he, he helped out the podcast a lot, didn't he? He did. I mean, so I, I can't say that I was close to Chris and that I've never met Chris, but I, I mean, I, I was close enough to speak to him online, offline, frequently about the clothes and other things as well. I mean, he, had a, he got a new dog in October and stuff, so we were conversing over dog stuff. And mm-hmm. Just he would always say yes to coming on the show, um, which... You know, sometimes not everyone can give up their time and I can appreciate that. And not everyone really wants to talk on a podcast or a YouTube, but he was one of the yes guys. I think he was one of these people that was always excited to talk about a certain subject, but he was also knowing that it would help us out by having him on the show and lending his expertise. And for me, he was one of the, like the, one of the tip of the spears, really. I mean, I don't, I think you feel the same that he was pretty yeah. much up there with regards to people writing about costumes of films he was one that really knew his knew his onions yeah i mean he was i mean he's maybe the the best out, out there writing about costume and film yes he he I mean, he really knew what he was talking about um he set the standard for for what we do you know, we wouldn't be doing this without him mm. he, he really just laid the foundations for a lot of people to talk about costuming and film. I mean, Chris knew you know, so many people who worked in film and, and he was happy to share those contacts with us. And that was really um, crucial for us with the book. I mean, he opened up a few doors for us with the book. He's, I mean, he's in our book, for example. He's, sure, yeah. Um, and, and also just the inspiration of reading his book. I mean, I've got it, if you're on the YouTube, you can see it in the background there. Uh, when I when I was reading Christopher's book, I I said to myself, "This is kind of where I want our book to be in terms of a how it looks, but the fluidity that his writing had. You know, he wasn't just kind of describing clothes for the sake of clothes or pointing this out, pointing that out. He had a very nice flow to his writing that just made it like a like a real story." Um, yeah. And, that was something that I actually remember vividly getting off the couch after reading a chapter of Chris's. And then I set about writing a chapter for our book right off the back of reading something about Chris's in terms of, I need to get it up there. I need to get it up to Chris's level. So. Yeah. I think he, he was always able to um, you know, make, make costume design and it's most complex also very accessible. Mm. Um, 
Yeah, that, that, yeah. that's something that that's something that I don't do. I, I I'm not the accessible right writer with it, but he he is he's so good at that. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I think we all kind of try and play to our strengths, and I think with regards to Chris, he one of his strengths was to always say yes to people and help people with regards to contacts, and and these are. You know, these are things that he's grafted for for years. I mean, in terms of you don't just get contacts like that overnight. You don't just build up a, a Rolodex of really important names and important relationships overnight. You have to kind of nurture those and keep those. And people wanted to know Chris. And I got the feeling that costume designers, especially the ones that I've spoken to, really, uh, really appreciated his level of expertise as well. Yeah, I, I remember a number of years ago, he had reached out to me for help with the uh, with, with ordering a cocktail cup shirt from an online shirt maker. And he, he did a blog about it. Um, and it was, uh, it was a fun experience. Was, I guess he, he reached out to me because I, I was, he wanted to copy, you know, like a, like a Sean Connery style Bond shirt. Um, and uh, we, we went through some back and forth with getting the shirt right from that shirt maker. They, they weren't able to do quite everything that we had wanted them to do. But, but you know, overall, I'd say actually Chris's personal style might have a little more in common with yours than with mine. He was definitely a he was a flashy person with you know, his clothes. He, yeah, but, you know, he knew what he was doing. He had a very good sense of style and a, uh, a strong sense of personal style. He, he knew what he liked. Yeah. He what, did. what did you think of his personal style? Oh, well, I loved it. Um, and I think that again, these are the sort of kinships that if you know somebody's into that style, or if you know someone that's got that similar taste to you. I mean, he had some real 70s vibes going on with, with pretty much everything, right up to his hair, to his mustache, you know, to his floral shirts, for example. And, you know, I've got the feeling that Roger was probably his favorite Bond, like he is yours, Matt, for that certain style. And that, you kind of already have that base of, of friendship because you know that you're in good company with someone that has those similar outlooks on fashion as yourself, you know. Yeah. yeah. So listen, I uh, didn't want to do a, a too long episode on this, but just wanted to say that, you know, Chris, Chris was a great guy. He was a real sweet guy. He had a, he had a very light touch when he talked about clothes. He didn't have any kind of agenda or any intensity to him. Um, no, 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 no attitude or ego. Yeah. And that's the thing he had, he had zero ego when he, he, he was quite entitled to have one, you know? Um, yeah. And, and yeah, he'll, he'll be missed by us and I'm, I'm sure he'll be missed by everyone else. I mean, it was, uh, it was a real treat to have him on and have, you know, get to speak to him for those few times that I did manage to speak to him. So I'll be grateful for that. Uh, Matt, I think there, well, is there anything else that you had? Um, I just want to say that, you know, I always think about Chris and I'll always be grateful for um, everything he, he did for me. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, and maybe maybe have a look at the book if you haven't done already, um, fashion and film, and treat yourself and, and kind of get familiar with some of his writing because he really was one of the best, in my opinion. All right, Matt, thanks for joining me on this one, and uh, we'll catch you next time. <laughs>